Hi. So, gosh, winter makes 9.37 p.m. Pacific Standard Time feel like midnight. It is so dark. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm up being a night owl when I'm not really being a night owl. Actually, um, long story short, I've actually... Now watch this totally change with me saying this. I have actually been able to fall asleep uh, at a more earlier hour, which that means before 3 a.m. for me. <laughs> okay. When you're on bed rest, <laughs> um, and I'm, I was already this way anyhow, uh, my sleep is, I'm wired differently. I'm wired for night. The mornings I am very slow. I no talky before coffee. That is truly, truly my motto. I really love that motto. I think it's funny. But I want to look, you know. So I was just catching up with everything, and after putting up my uh, my videos, and um, I really appreciate everyone's responses and comments and interaction. It's really fun. I enjoy that with you guys. Um, and I, I really appreciate that most of you get my sense of humor. It's only, there's only about 0.5% <laughs> that don't seem to. Anyway, I guess you choose readers or peoples who, who have content online that who have a personality that, well, uh, the same wavelength, or a wavelength you find interesting anyway, right? Alright, so what I'm blathering on about, <laughs> trying to get round to, is um, I'm catching up at the end of the, the my day, in is actually evening. That's the thing with this kind of work. I love it. I love, love, love making these videos for you guys. I really do. Um, it's a way that I can earn money as a disabled person and share a skill that I think I've developed to some degree or another over... Oh, I'm gonna give away my age. Uh, I'm still young, damn it. I'm only 52, so <laughs> that's young. Um, but I've been messing around with them my mom played with, uh, used them when I was a, a, a child. I saw her using them. I was fascinated. So that was kind of my first introduction. And then, when I, after my accident, and I was doing a lot of um, self uh, work on myself, and having to adapt to from being an able-bodied person to being um, especially as a teenager, as a 17-year-old um, young woman, I that was a big shift. But I began to use the tarot cards. I don't know, just a natural intuition drew me to them. And being in the Bay Area, I, I just I love the openness of this area of people being willing to consider different um, things like the tarot or, or I Ching or so on, you know, so forth. I just love that about the area that I live in. We still, we, we have people that are um, very ultra conservative too, it's just that they are not the majority enough to have um, the stranglehold <laughs> on the environment, so to speak, where there's more of us who are more diverse-minded, so to speak. Anyhow, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Let me just get on with the reading. I wanted to look at Mitch McConnell and why. Why he's saying no. Personally, my gut level says this is a game between he and Trump just to dilly-dally around and make things a bigger mess and then leave it on the doorstep of Biden and Harris in, in order to, in, I think, in, 
I've got to imagine, essentially just kind of dump them with all this stuff that will delay them, I think. I, I can only imagine. Mitch's quote was that the, the uh, 2000 was only going to go to the rich Democrats, people that, quote-unquote, didn't need the money. Mm. I'm pretty sure that my two adult children, um, you know, could use that money. And they're not wealthy Democrats. They are Democrats by chance, but they're poor. Poor as church mice, my two kids. And one of them is out of work because of and, and, and needing this money. We are having to try to uh, help them and um, other members you know, of our family. So, Mitch's take that this would all, I wonder if the people in Kentucky that are going to be sitting longer and longer without any, with a $600 check first, that, that's like poof, that's gone, that's, it's better than nothing, but, oh my god, it's cruel and it's unnecessary. And this is not needed to do this, so I want to look to see at the cards what they want to say, why he's doing this. And forgive me my ramble, but I gotta kind of get on the page. <laughs> so why is Mitch doing this? Why is he denying and holding this back? His claim that it only goes to rich Democrats is something I think he knows is not true. So what's the real reason? Why is Mitch... Is this a case of Mitch and Trump playing good cop, bad cop? What is this? There's the money, and with it being the ace, it is the beginning of the start of, and it's a smaller sum. And it's it looks paltry. Even just when I pulled it out, the first thought I thought it's a paltry sum that he wants to send. He wants to send a smaller sum. He doesn't. He has a what was that Liza Minnelli saying? He's so tight, uh, what, he, he could hear a fish fart or something like that? It was funny. Anyway, that was from Funny Girl, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, surprise, surprise, here's Elaine, his wife, showing up. That's interesting. And with the, uh, I think she's told him because this looks like she's blocking as well. There's a blocking issue connected with her. What is that about? He, is he trying to protect her? How does he think that us getting this money isn't a threat in any way, shape, or form to his wife. I do not know. I think it would make more sense that it's trying to say she's encouraging him, perhaps, to block and give only less. How generous of her, coming from her family. A privilege. Yeah, he wants to go with the smaller amount. He doesn't think we need to be given that much. It's really out of... I'm seeing tightness. And um, pushing this paltry amount as very... It, it is, it is mean-spirited. It is truly Scrooge. I'm feeling getting total Scrooge vibes off of this.
his wife wants to look good in some way. Wants to win something. This it's about being victorious. Okay. All right, I really feel like a heavy influence of Elaine on this choice of his. I feel like, forgive me, I'm, this will probably make a little unpleasant clicking. There's Elaine, the Aries, Queen of Wands, and there's the block. And she's, I really pick up, she's saying, no. Give them the smaller amount. You're foolish if you send anything greater than that. Send the smaller amount. I can almost hear her saying it to him. And saying, you don't negotiate with them. You have to win. Not to, uh, not to work with, not, don't, don't work with them. She's telling Mitch not to work with the Democrats. And these first two lines, she wants some sense of personal victory. I think it's kind of a middle finger, to be honest. It's like, what have we ever done to you? All you've done is fleece us, lady. This meanness. It's really a sense of Scrooge. I straight up see that. And I feel it's okay. Again, we're talking about more than one person involved. And this to me is the president, the Democrat and the GOP all trying to do this. Okay? I think she's thinking she lives in a cloud. I think they think that just like them the money goes to the, they project their own situation. They pay the wealthy, the rich get corporate welfare in this nation. But the working people and the working poor do not. Instead, we're thrown a measly $600 check after how many months, you know, with this pandemic, and that's supposed to be suffice. It is a very cold and aloof snobby, mean-spirited, scroogey energy. This could, um, she's, I do believe that she's going to have investigation on her hands. Yeah, she's very, like, absolutely do not, she's extreme is what it's saying, um, in denying to the point that she won't, doesn't want, and I think she really influences him. I think she's very good at manipulating him. Yeah, water. It's going to backfire, though, because there's going to be a lot of people that, the, the as a result, of this delay, it's it's just going to um, compound their, their their problems. And I see a loud outcry here. Uh, and legal, it looks to me like investigation. It looks to me like There will be looking at why he wanted to do that.
and at the cost of the suffering of so many people. And it looks like his wife, he does it for because his wife has him by the you know what and short and curlies, and she's got his <clears throat> in her handbag. So I just am really getting, I don't know if you're picking that up on this reading, but I am, that Elaine is figuring heavily into this decision for him to oppose the president, saying something to, it looks like, to the effect of never agree to work with them, never agree, thinking that it, it out of touch thoughts that the wealthy Democrats get some big tax break here. Uh, they got, got that with Trump doing what he did because he's the one that cut taxes on the rich. This is the working poor. This is for the working poor which is growing more and more with this pandemic. And this is this is why, folks. This is why. Truly. His, they are out of touch. They live in a very different world. They think that Democrats play exactly by the same rules. It's a very strange thing. And per, I'm, I'm sure some do, like Feinstein. I'm not a big fan of hers. But, um, and that's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. But what I see here is a real sense of aloofness of don't 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 you dare give them more than you know she's stingy as a f <laughs> stingy a f brother she is and it looks like she's got him by the clutches of his emotions and has him in the palm of her hand and and is pushing this overkill reaction that I think will end up drawing more attention on them and more like, huh? So drawing even more likelihood that they will come under the crosshairs and I, I, I see it anyway that Elaine may come under the crosshairs of investigation. Just a couple other cards. There's the Knight of Swords. This is coming quick. It's it's sweeping fast and it's it's forceful. It's aggressive. And I think that they want to put it on the shoulders of Biden and Harris to put this right. They want to get their. They want to get out of the jam that they're in, where and especially with her. I think somehow, with regard to any kind of inquiry into them, her money, and grants that you know that that she pushed over to as a favor to her husband. So, yeah, that's why. His wife, because his wife has his junk in her purse, and she's the one calling the shots. Okay, just so we're clear on that.